another edition of the CEO tour. And today I have Tiffany and Tiffany, this is your opportunity to share your story with everybody. I am a pound pro, uh, pop Pilates, TRX and fitness kickboxing. I've been on my own journey to lose weight over the course of about 10 years. I've lost, I don't know, hundred pounds or so. And when I moved out here, I just didn't have anybody that I knew, no, no studio that I could go to that I felt comfortable. And so I just decided I was going to start getting certified. So I've not always been in fitness my entire life. Um, it's, it came to me later in life. The way I started was teaching free fitness in the park. So I just invited anybody that would come and I just started teaching in the park, giving everybody free, free classes. From there, we just kind of started to accumulate some, some people and moved into a community room underneath a church. But then I just kind of had to decide if, if this was gonna just continue to be a hobby or if I wanted to expand. And I was limited there. I couldn't put up signage and I couldn't create my own schedule. It was, it was all on their terms, which was great because they let us use the space. Um, but I just decided with a little push from my husband that we should probably start looking for buildings. So we were only open about 10 months when we had to shut down for COVID, which wow. was crazy. <laughs> but um, funny enough, I had just actually switched over to wellness living right before we were shut down. <laughs> so <laughs> learning how to be able to pause memberships and learning how to be able to um, reach out to people and use the the tools that are there for us was was something that that came as I was stuck at home, <laughs> so to speak. Tell me about how you still maintain that community, uh, that sense of community with uh, with the lockdowns in place. So we started a game night, so to speak, through Zoom, and we did a concert. One person played from their basement, and everybody watched and had cocktails. And then, of course, whenever I needed to send out updates as to what was happening with the studio, what our COVID protocols were going to be when we reopened, I utilized the messages through Wellness Living. I, you have like an incredible like weight loss story. That's a huge, an incredible accomplishment to be able to lose that much weight. What, what was that trigger that kind of made me say, hey, you know, I, I, this is something I want to do. And From the time I got pregnant to the time I had my third child, I had gained about I don't know, 120 pounds or so, not able to take it off. Um, and one day my kids just wanted to go for a walk and I was just, so tired. I just didn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't make it through the walk. And so I told my husband I wanted to start going to the gym. So I started on um, January 1st of a year in a big box gym, which is a real bad idea. Um, didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to use any of the machines. Um, I just didn't know. So I hired a personal trainer. And unfortunately, I got the personal trainer who just wasn't um, people friendly, we'll say. And as opposed to teaching me what I needed to know um, after asking me what I was doing, had been doing actually physically laughed at me in our interview. So it was it was something that really hurt to a point that um, I knew what not to do with my studio. I knew how to not be at my studio, that type of personality. So I tend to promote body positive fitness. Um, it's not about how thin you are. It's not about how, you know, what size you are. It, it's about what's healthy and what's fit for you and your body. It took a long time. And, you know, I've had my ups and downs. I've tried lots of different things and I still have improvement that I'd like to make, uh, but I'm happy with how far I've come so far. Yeah, that's just a, I mean, such a tremendous accomplishment that, you know, many people kind of just, you know, give up. And that's one of the reasons why your studio is successful is because you, you you have that that connection with uh with your members and you you're kind of a testament cool, cool. and tell me about the name rebel fitness studio where where did you come up with that what was the sort of the inspiration behind it started as rebel fit group when we were in the park so we were just rebels rebelling against the way that big box gyms treat their little people um so really it's rebel against what society's concept of fit is um rebel against the norms so that's kind of where where that started okay cool. so we're, we're fitness rebels <laughs> awesome awesome 
were you coming from another software to wellness living or was wellness? I living? was. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about sort of that, you know, transition process. I know a lot of businesses out there are kind of like thinking, oh my goodness, I, I have this software. I, I may be using this other software for like years and years and I have all these, all these clients. Maybe you could, you can kind of describe what that was like for you. There was always somebody there every step. If I had a question, I could reach out um, by email or by phone. And it really, I would be remiss to say it was easy because it's not easy, but it's definitely doable. Um, it, it's a process. So it's not like it's something you have to do in a single day. And when we switched, it was, it was a pretty seamless process. We had very, very few things that we had to go back and correct. It's just, just a matter of having the patience and being able to pace yourself and get it done within a, a time frame rather than all at once. What would be some of the, the sort of the features that really stand out to you and that you really kind of, those are your go-to features that you really love? The final decision to switch was the fact that we could do digital gift cards. We couldn't do that with my other software. People could not buy a friend a gift card. Um, and that, you know, it seems small, but that's really a big deal. You know, Christmas is big and people like to give things and give the gift of wellness, right? We couldn't do it. But outside of that, the app, my my members love the app. Um, it's easy to use and, and they like being able to just look at their phone and, and get instead of having to log in online and sign up for classes. Um, easy to download and it pops up right away. You don't have to search for it. Uh, on the instructor side, I... I like being able to first log in and just see the calendar right in front of me, knowing who's teaching what and how many people are in that class. If you are a wellness living customer and you are not using the app, you're doing, doing yourself a disservice. Absolutely. Um, definitely check it out and get the app because that's just, it's just easy. And what else is better than that? <laughs> Tell me some of the some of the classes that you're running because it sounds like you guys have a whole variety uh, of stuff going on there. Currently, have on the schedule we've got a variety of yoga, um, which also I didn't mention. That's one thing that I wanted to make different about my studio. I have yoga and fitness group fitness classes in the same studio under the same roof for the same price, which was something that you really can't get around here. Tell us some some sort of future plans. Sure. I would like to have a full membership base, but I want to stay in the small studio atmosphere. I, I will always stay with limited class sizes. Hopefully I, I, I will be able to, you know, relatively soon kind of resume travel. I know there's still like some restrictions and things like that. So Tiffany, thank you uh, so much for, uh, for you know, being, being doing this with us.